Hi, I'm Peter Hopkins with United Infrared, and today I'm going to do a product review of the Wohler Viz 500. Now, obviously, there's several products to view when it comes to the Wohler family of sewer cameras. A lot of options uh, from standard definition to high definition. They're going to cover all bases. Today, I'm going to talk about the Wohler Viz 500. This particular product is a very intuitive product. This is one that actually I personally use in my inspection business. Uh, one of the great things that I can tell you that I love about this product, let me first show you some great things about this, and that is the compact nature of this product. Now, we have literally a awesome pan and tilt sewer camera, some of the features I'm leading up to, into literally a little over a 20 pound briefcase. Now that for me as an inspector, I work with equipment and I have tools in my vehicle, but having a, a, a product that has an, a reel that is concealed within the camera is very important. So one of the things I can show you is access to that equipment. Here's the secret stuff, here it is. Well, inside of here, we have a 100 foot reel that'll get us through our sewers and doing those inspections. Now, why is that important that we have access to it? Well, this product allows you access so that if there is any unfortunate circumstance, the opportunity to replace that is can be done by user uh, process. Now, as we go into this system, um, this is the control. This is the brain behind the system. Now, this right here is a protection shield for that monitor, but I'm gonna open it up so you can see the power of what this sewer camera can do. Now, one of the most important features that I find as an inspector with a sewer camera is the fact that it has a pan and tilt product. That pan and tilt allows me to get up and close and personal to those problems within the sewer. Now, the importance of that is, is that many standalone cameras that look forward are only seeing what's in front of them, but they don't necessarily see what might be two or three inches away. And that's the advantage of a pan and tilt camera is being able to see up and close. Now, the more information that I have, the more information I can provide for my client. So another key feature that I'd like to show you is the push rod and specifically its connection with the camera. Now you'll see many times that with sewer cameras on the market, about, I would say the majority of them out there, other than Wohler, have a spring that's attached to this. Now you might think that that's the only way you can bend, but I wanna show you the flexibility of the Wohler product. That this is designed to go down sewer lines and it has the ability to flex. And the importance of the lack of the spring or the improvement of without the spring is the fact that when sewer push rods go down the sewer lateral, they have a tendency to pull back the debris that might be in the line. I don't know if we wanna talk about exactly what that debris is, but I'm gonna leave that to your imagination. So as those debris comes back up with a sewer camera, a lot of times plumbers are used to that business, but for people like me in my profession, where we have this camera line to clean, that spring will hold that debris and often the only way to clean it is spraying a hose on it, which then it goes everywhere. So that is a big benefit for me. Now, one of the nice things is that the fact that this camera cable can fully collapse back into the system and close up and it is safely protected. So now that's just to speak about the push rod, the camera head, the lack of a spring or the improvement of not having a spring as I, I would like to think. And now we go into the brains behind the system. This control panel allows me to do fully features from, I can take video and at simultaneously, I can use the camera so I could be recording video. It has an internal memory. And then I also can take photos at the exact same time. So that's a big benefit because as you're going down the sewer, the ability to save those photos. Now, one of the things is that in addition to an internal memory, it does give you the option of using a USB stick. So down on the bottom of this device is a plug-in for the USB protection. So as we install a USB drive and somehow it's designed for that. So you can actually have the monitor up and most USBs will still fit coming off of that. It'll automatically recognize that USB stick and now it'll save with that. So those are some of the cool things about it. What you can notice on this screen is one, it'll tell you how much memory you have if you are using an internal memory. It'll have the date and time of your actual video. It'll show you actually how much battery you have, how far that camera is down that sewer lateral, which is very important because when it comes to repairs, you wanna know the next person that's gonna be coming in is likely the person that's gonna be doing the repairs. So they're gonna to wanna to know, hey, this is 32 feet down the line that we maybe have a blockage or damage in the line itself. 
Um, it'll tell you the recording time. And then an important feature right here, if you come up and close and you'll take a look, we can see what is actually level. So as we look at the dark area on this, we can see that where the level is of this device, but you also have the ability to automatically level that image. This here is resetting your timer, so you can check that feature and it'll reset the actual. So let's say your sewer lateral is starting two feet away. That's where you would select that. This is your memory where your additional photos, and then you have options for doing features like a wireless. Now, why would that be important? Because it's an opportunity to stream this to a wireless device. And with using the Wohler app, that you can actually remote control this camera. So that's one of the cool new features. Also, if you just don't want somebody hanging over your shoulder, you can stream this off to someone else from your business or, or your assistant where they can actually remote control this camera. They can actually self-level. They can control the camera head and get up and close to where that problem might be. So we have a sonde. Why is a sonde important? Because and when we want to locate where that condition is, yes, we know how far down the pipe it is, but we don't necessarily know exactly where it is in the yard. So we can activate, there's multiple frequencies that can be used, a 512 hertz. All the camera heads have a sonde built in inside of this camera head. So with using that device, we can then identify where that is in the property to be uh, inspected. And then also some settings on the, the uh, system and some features. And then of course, this is that self-leveling that we do. Now we can simply select this where the camera will automatically level the camera. So you just simply enter that button, you go to the leveling, you hit check, and that camera, so let's start off with, you know, as it's uh, in, in its uh, previous menu, and we can turn it sideways, and let's watch that self-leveling feature. So we bring the menu, we activate the self-leveling, we check it, and the camera's gonna automatically get us back to the best picture. So this is important when you're going down the line and maybe you previously identified a cracked or broken line or damage, that's a great feature. So all in all, I give high thumbs up for the Wohler Viz 500. It's a product that has made my business very effective and it's allowed me to make additional revenue for offering services like SewerScan, um, which you can learn more about from our company. And some of the great features is the ability to use this camera for more than just sewers. Now, there's a lot of uh, NDT inspections where you might be inspecting duct work. Well, how about chimneys? Did you know that this same brain and this same camera head can be used to inspect chimneys? Well, my company developed a product called Chimney Scan and how a camera with some additional features will save you money. Instead of having to invest the five to $7,000 in a chimney camera, you can use one product that can do both. So to learn more about Wohler's products, you can visit my website at unitedinfrared.com or by visiting wohlerusa.com.